Well, new charges have been filed against members of a now shuttered Penn State fraternity in the death of Pledge Timothy Piazza. It followed the recovery of video from a basement security camera that police initially believed was not working. David Spun is in our satellite center tonight with what that video reveals. David? Well, Yuki, never give up. The words used by the family of Timothy Piazza just a few months ago, it appeared cases were almost non-existent after a Center County judge threw away the most serious charges. Tonight, that video is now part of evidence, a video the FBI was able to bring back to life. We need parents to be talking to their kids about this. We need parents to put their foot down and say, you must not do this. Bold words from the father of the late Timothy Piazza. Surveillance video thought to be deleted, recovered by the FBI. 19-year-old Penn State Beta Pledge Piazza died last February, following a night fueled by alcohol. His fraternity brothers didn't call help for 12 hours. Piazza died two days later. Authorities say new evidence shows Piazza was forced to have 18 drinks in an hour and 22 minutes. No one would do it voluntarily because it doesn't make sense. Tom Klein is the Piazza family attorney. In all, 26 fraternity members are now facing charges. The most serious, involuntary manslaughter and aggravated assault. Authorities charged Braxton Becker with deleting a basement security video allegedly showing the melee in the home. Just pushing the delete button on your iPhone or on your computer doesn't mean that it's gone forever, and the FBI certainly proved that. Some of those charged are from Philadelphia. Joseph Ems faces charges of hazing and furnishing alcohol to a minor. It's flabbergasted. Yeah, I really am. Um, you know, the smart move is to always act like you're not surprised. These charges came out of the blue. Philadelphia attorney Bill Brennan represents Ems. We're not happy about this. We're going to put the gloves back on and we'll go out there and fight it again. All of those charged will be in court for an arraignment that is scheduled tentatively for November 28th. David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.